Good morning from what may be Guatemala's most beautiful hotel. So you may have seen this hotel all over TikTok and we had to check it out for ourselves. The hotel is in Lake Atitlan and arriving at Lake Atitlan is a bit of an adventure and it all starts at La Aurora International Airport. Once you land, if you rent a car like we did, you'll be taken out across the street by your rental car provider where you'll pick up the car. We paid $100 total for our car for five days and the rental pricing here was very cheap. Once you start going on the road, it's usually about a three and a half hour drive there. There's a lot of traffic around Guatemala City, so plan accordingly. When you arrive in the city of Panajachel, this is where you will park your car and leave it there for the time being. You should not be paying any more than 75 quetzal per day to leave your car there parked. Once you park your car, you'll get on the boat and make your way to the hotel. There are two options to get to the hotel, either by public boat where they leave every 40 minutes and it's 25 quetzal per person, or you can pay 125 quetzal total for a private boat where you leave whenever and with only the people you're traveling with. This can save you a lot of time as public boats stop often to go to the neighboring towns and dropping off other people. Look at this. Hanging right off the cliff. All right. Hi. We're here. We it. It's beautiful. La Casa del Mundo. Now where? <laughs> right, we finally made it to La Casa del Mundo. We have room number one, so let's check it out. That's unreal. That's actually unreal. Wow. I could live here. Oh my goodness. Not too shabby, right? <laughs> How much was this a night? I think it, it was 326 total. Yes, for so, three nights. For three nights, so quick maths. But it's a room for three people. It's a room for three people. So it's like 110 bucks a night, basically. With taxes and everything, but yeah. We are here at dinner at Casa del Mundo. This place is actually incredible. So you have an upstairs part right there, which is like acts as the front desk and restaurant as well. But you also have this lower deck. And next to us, this is our view from our exact table. Amazing. They have gringo bites. They have what? Gringo bites. Damn. Is that <laughs> us? Lake Atitlan is home to 11 towns and villages. Among these 11, there are five destinations that truly stand out from the rest. San Pedro, San Marco, Panajachel, Jaibalito, and Santa Cruz. You can get to any of these places by going down to the dock and waving down a boat. One thing is for sure, the sunrises here are some of the best you can find. If you haven't already known, La Casa del Mundo has a lot of stairs. So this hotel was built in 1997 and it's family ran. There's so many things to do here from kayaking, paddle boarding, and snorkeling, and so many more. You can even get a massage and go in the sauna. Get in a campfire. And there's also so many kitties around here. Ah! He's saying subscribe to our vlogs. <laughs> Along with all these free amenities that come included with the hotel, there's also hammocks everywhere that you can lay it down and, and just chill. Like, look. That is there. Chilling. There's also another hammock there. And really on every floor, there's a hammock. You can see one up there. And more up the hotel. There's just, they're lying everywhere. All right, Michael, how you feel? You ready? Good, I feel ready to take a picture. First one's the jump of the day. Let's go. Yo. This is the only wake up call that you can do here at Casa del Mundo. Mm. 
it's on fresh. There are many nearby towns that I've mentioned before, but the one that we went to was San Pedro. We were able to walk around, see the market day that they have every weekend, and even get a tuk-tuk tour around the city. Another adventure that is right near the hotel is Indian Nose Hike. We did it for the sunrise and got some of the most incredible views and would recommend it to everyone. We would often find ourselves relaxing in the hotel after a long day of exploring, going to the sauna, relaxing by the water, or even just walking around the hotel since there was so much to see. So one of the things this hotel does not have is air conditioning, but that's completely fine. They have doors, they have windows, and the temperatures has been pretty cool and yeah. haven't needed. No, not at all, because at night this place gets to low 50s, so you're actually pretty cold if you do the door open. And even during the day, like the hottest it gets is high 70s, maybe 80 to 83 degrees. But I was talking to one of the locals and he was saying that the temperature here is like this uh, year round. So many of the places aren't really gonna have air conditioning, but just remember you don't need it. And their high season is June and July. So just keep that in mind before booking your yeah. trip here. Yeah, June and July, they said it was the high season and they said it's packed. Like people are, are out in San Pedro going out all day. They're, everyone's hiking in the, Indian Nose Trail that we did and it's always going to be filled so we're here in March right now and the weather has been perfect it's like super sunny during the day and then it gets a little cloudy during the evening but honestly it, it's pretty nice so either bring a lot of quetzal to the hotel or if you forget that's fine because they do offer a money exchange here and you're going to need a lot of quetzal maybe not a lot but for a lot of the towns nearby the most part they only accept quetzal La Casa del Mundo is by far the most beautiful hotel that I've ever been. It's filled with incredible views, friendly staff, and so much adventure nearby. La Casa del Mundo is such an incredible hotel. Hanging off the cliff, facing the amazing Lake Atitlan, you really couldn't ask for much more. If you're thinking about coming here, we would highly recommend you stay in this hotel, even if it's just for one night to experience the beauty. If you're new to the channel here, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps us out a lot. And we'll see you in the next video introducing the beautiful El Salvador.